here at Otten Walter Show Pigs, we have roughly 350 sows and about 23 boars that we have on stud. Uh, obviously, those numbers change, varying the you know what we keep in certain groups and uh, keep with guilds and things of that nature. Uh, some of our main goals and, and object, objectives when we go to start doing matings and uh, breeding these sows for specific shows. Uh, our, our main concern and priority, I guess, would be to keep females being what females are supposed to be, so being that they're sound and good build and square and still have the right kind of body shape to, to make good show pigs. Um, and, we, and then we kind of rely on, on the boars to put in a lot of the extras, but uh, as a whole we feel like with a herd that big, when we have females with the least amount of problems as possible, um, but that's usually beneficial no matter what, what trends and uh, what popular things are going on out there in the industry. Um, it's always good to have a, a really strong baseline of uh, sows that are uh, fundamental and practical and, uh, and females first. Uh, as, as far as, as boars are concerned uh, and the, the matings that we like to make, uh, obviously uh, we have uh, very specific boars and we like to use all of our own. but. Uh, Usually we like to make uh, matings that just make sense as far as making the uh, sale pigs as good as they can get uh, to offer to all our youth exhibitors and uh, we usually like to target certain groups uh, varying to uh, all our county shows and jackpot shows out here in the spring and summer and then, and then really gearing hard with a lot of our very best sows to hit those shows in the winter. like the Royal and the Arizona National Show in Denver and, and things of those nature. We rely very heavily on, on Facebook and, and social media. Almost all of our, our pictures and advertisements for our boars and our sows and uh, our show big sales all wind up on Facebook and, and on on our uh, on our website. Uh, we also rely a lot on, on using the phone and commuting, communicating with people uh, in, in that way as well. Um, obviously we don't have a ton of time to constantly be posting everything we do on social media but we definitely use that to market our, uh, our show pigs. When it comes to our younger members and, and younger people that come and and are you know selecting their first handful of projects, I, I really encourage those newcomers to make sure that they pick pigs that fit for where they need to go. And so that means they need to stick to the properly aged and, and sized pigs for for their goal and their specific show. And then after that, then you can start trying to evaluate these hogs for what they are and, and I always tell all the, the younger members and new people that they need to try to pick projects that are going to be as, as sound and problem free as possible um, especially when you start talking about their hogs and, and their feet I always tell them to look there first uh, obviously there's a lot more fun things to evaluate in, in terms of look and build and balance and bone and things of that nature but I think if you're a younger member and, and you're coming and selecting some of your first projects I, I always encourage those members to uh, pick the right sized animal and pick something that uh, in their mind is, is built for the long haul that, that can make that show and have the right kind of growth and maturity pattern. 